Here's how I went from charging my batteries like this after a tireless shoot. Babe, make your chin chiseled. Put your tongue at the top of your mouth. Yeah, like that. Oh yeah, so smooth. Oh yeah. To how I charge my batteries now for just under one hundred dollars. Kiss it like that, making it last fast. Bring it right back, wear it like that, move it like that, like it like, do it like that. Kiss it like that, making it last fast. Bring it right back, wear it like that, move it like that, like it like that. I needed a better way to charge my batteries. And after watching Full Time Filmmakers tutorial on how to build the ultimate charging station. I needed to build one for myself. I'm going to be leaving in the description all the products that I use to create this clean looking charging station without breaking the bank. Okay, so first thing we're going to need is the cork board. I purchased my cork board from Ikea for about $27.99. And I also purchased additional hooks that were about $4 and a basket, which was about $9. The two hooks are gonna be used for hanging up your gimbal if you have one. Next will be your power cord. I purchased mine for about $22.99. You can honestly use whatever power cord you have available. You don't have to buy a new one. I just bought a new one because I wanted mine black. I also like this power cord because it has four additional USB connections. The next thing you'll need are command strips or double-sided tape. And these will be used to stick on the back of your chargers. I bought mine for about three bucks from the dollar store, but I'll leave some in the links for about $4.99. If you don't have them yet, you'll also need the USB cables that will plug into your chargers. And these go for about $14.99 depending on what type of USB you need and, and what type of cable. I'll also be leaving that in the description below. And the final thing we need are twist ties. I've collected these over the years through all the gear and tech that I bought and I have an abundance of these. So I love using these to cable manage. But if you don't have twist ties, you can always buy them online or you can buy zip ties. Zip ties also work very, very well. And I'll also link those down below. If you bought everything that I just mentioned, that'll bring your total to $91.94. And it can be even less depending on what materials you already have. For me, excluding the twist ties, USB-C, and the command strips, my total only came out to $63.91. Okay, now that we have everything we need to get started, we're gonna start by planning our board. Now this process may look different for your board depending on what kind of chargers you have, if you have a gimbal, and this will be the fun part. Honestly, this will be where you are able to plan and, and put things where you want them to. So let's put our board flat on the table without taping anything yet. We're gonna place things down starting with our power cord. I'm gonna be placing mine at the bottom left because that is the closest point to an actual outlet. After we're gonna arrange our chargers. For our chargers, we want to make sure the outlets of our chargers are pointing towards the power cord. Next will be my gimbal because it's the largest item that I'll be placing on my board and I'll need to know where to place my pegs. And lastly, we have the basket. The basket can be used for anything. It can be used to store your batteries or even your anime figures. Now, once we've planned everything out and we're happy with it, we can go ahead and start taping everything down. And once we've taped everything down, we can start cable managing. Make sure to use those twist ties that I mentioned before. Now that we have everything taped down, it's time to mount it on the wall. And there we go, a clean charging station for just under $100.
I hope that this video has gave you some ideas on how to build your own cork board. And I would love to see other people building their charging stations. So if you have built a cork board out of inspiration from this video, I would love it if you DM'd me on Instagram. And here's my handle right now. That would be super cool to see. Okay, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out as a small YouTube channel that's really trying to grow. I hope to get monetized uh, in this coming year. So yeah, we're really pushing forward. Okay, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay hungry.